My name is Julie Oliver. I'm running for U.S. House of Representatives in District 25. This is a large district that starts in Burleson in the north and then goes 212 miles to the south to Wimberley. I think it's important to know the story of the person you're going to elect, so I'd like to share mine with you. I grew up very, very poor. My mother was a single mom of four kids, public school teacher. By the time I was 17, I dropped out of high school, ran away from home, and when I found myself homeless and pregnant, I went back home. And with the help of my mom and the assistance of Medicaid, I gave birth to a healthy baby girl who is now a PhD student at TCU. I did all that one week before high school graduation. And because there were no college savings in our family, I had to put myself through college with a young child. But there were government programs that helped me, so I was able to get out of college completely debt-free with the use of government programs. And I would love to see our young people be able to have the same opportunities that I had. 23 years ago, I got my acceptance letter to the University of Texas School of Law. And now for the past 20 years, I've been an attorney in taxation and healthcare finance. And the reason I'm running is because when Congress and congressional leaders attacked the ACA last summer, I knew I had to do something. And when the tax reform bill was passed in December, I knew my skill set was perfectly aligned for what we could do for this country and our state. Really amazing things. So what is it that I want to do? Well, we have so much to gain by providing health care to every one of our Texans, every Texans, excuse me, every Texan in this state. So whether it's Medicare for all or moving towards a single payer, we have the most to gain because we have the highest uninsured rate in the nation. We also have the most to gain by providing a world-class education through our public education institutions. Texas is severely underfunding our public schools. And at the federal level, we can come in, we can shore up our schools, we can also provide broadband infrastructure in our rural communities and help lift every kid up. We also need to support our teachers. I hear story after story of teachers not being able to retire and their health care benefits exceeding what they earn incrementally every year. We can do better by our teachers. And we can do better by our immigrant families. We have so much to gain by keeping our families together and protecting dreamers, TPS recipients, and their families. I got an email this morning about a family in our district. The mother is a small business owner and ha has had her business for the last eight years. She faces deportation in September. She has one child who's a dreamer, two kids who are U.S. citizens, and she's an integral part of her community. We can do better by that family. And we can protect our communities and our children by passing common sense gun safety legislation. Most Americans believe universal background checks should be instituted, whether it's a public sale or a private sale. We can't accomplish any of these things, though, unless we get big money out of the halls of Congress and out of our elections. So as soon as I'm in Congress, I want to implement comprehensive campaign finance reform. I'm proud of our campaign. Our campaign has been funded completely by individuals. No corporate PAC money. I'm also going to hold town halls every month. I'll come back to this district. District. It keeps me honest and accountable to you. And that's one of the problems that we have when representatives are accountable to their corporate interests. They aren't accountable to the constituents. I want to work and serve you. So I ask for your support May 22nd. May 14th through 18th is early voting, but please go out. Please remember that this is one of the most important elections of our lives. And I would be honored to have your support and get to serve you in Congress.